great to be here. I've, so I've got a lot of fond memories of you. I went to law school here, as Scott said. I met my wife here, who's a professor um, at the school now. And uh, I love it here. So it's always good to be back. It reminds me of being back in school, and I had a good time while I was in law school. Maybe too big of a time. Um, you guys are really, really lucky because this class, or this kind of class, didn't exist when I was in school. And if it did, I think it would have changed the first 15 years of my practice. Um, I think it's probably one of the most important classes you could take. And Scott's an amazing person and a leader in the dialogue on mindfulness nationally. So I'm not just saying that because um, I admire Scott, but it really is a game changer. You know, um, Daniel Goleman, who wrote Emotional Intelligence, who I think it's one of your um, readings, has found and studied that IQ is only 20% of success and emotional intelligence is 80%. And for me, the heart of emotional intelligence is mindfulness, being present, being able to see your thoughts and emotions and not get hijacked by your ego. And, and I had to learn that the hard way. Um, so this is an amazing opportunity because a lot of other classes you take are important, constitutional law and civil procedure and evidence and all that, but you can look those up and you can memorize stuff and you can regurgitate stuff, but you can't intellectualize this. You know, you've got to experience it, and you've got to practice it, and you've got to do it. And if you do it, it's like a muscle, it gets stronger, and it has a profound impact. It has a ha profound impact on my life. So I would say take full advantage of this class. I, I can't imagine one that's more important, other than my wife's class, of course. Uh, I get in trouble if I didn't say that, of course. And I agree with you, this is really helpful. So uh, I guess, you know, my journey started about four years ago with mindfulness. Before that, just kind of brief bio, I, I do three or four different things. I wouldn't call myself one thing or another. I just sort of divide my days, sometimes being confused at exactly what I should be focusing on in the moment. But I, I went to law school. I practiced law for a little bit. I never wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I thought being a lawyer would be a good stepping stone or getting into business and being an entrepreneur, it was a difficult road because um, lots of people on the outside think lawyers are meant to be lawyers. They're not um, good in business. They're not good with numbers. You know, so they want to put put you in that box. And I had some business experience. I started doing some things while I was in college and law school, and that really it didn't matter. It was a really it was a difficult transition. So um, I got involved with in a technology company, then I wound up practicing law for a number of years, for about five years. And being a lawyer is hard. You know, being a business person is hard, but being a lawyer is, is difficult. It's confrontational, a lot of hours. You're competing with people within your firm, other associates, and you're, um, you're paid to fight for your client. You know, you're, you're a mouthpiece, and, and your job is to fight, and that's a difficult thing to do 10, 12 hours a day and uh, your clients want you to win, right? So your, your mentality is um, somebody else is wrong, I'm right, and if they don't understand it initially, which of course they're getting paid by somebody else to be right, then we're just gonna fight about it for weeks and months and years. And it can wear on you, and you can get pulled into conflicts that are um, not productive because we have egos, and our egos tell us that um, I may, can't see so clearly about I'm representing a client, now this person on the other side of the desk is calling me stupid or wrong or they're better than me or something like that, whatever our minds create, and so then it gets personal. And you know, it stays with you from morning to night. You come home and you're complaining about it to whoever will listen and it's in your head. So um, it's a difficult way to live and, and to make a living if you don't have some skills and tools to separate, to create some space between thoughts and emotions and sensations and who you really are. 